yes now let's see the lr passes lr passes are of four types here so one is the lr passer is also one type of uh, bottom up parsing right so we have seen various parses top down as over ll1 and recursive descent are top down parses and then we are seeing this uh, a bottom up parsers in bottom up parser operator precedence parser is a bottom up parser and then the other class of bottom up parsers are lr parsers and there are four types lr0 slr1 lr1 and clr1 so this is in the ascending order of their pass so least powerful is lr0 and the most powerful is clr1 and now in our, how does this lr parser work is lr passing lr parser is a algorithm okay and now this algorithm requires one is input stack and other is lr passing table and other is input buffer so it is same as the bottom up parser ll1 in ll1 what was the passing table it was ll1 passing table right in lr what is the passing table it is lr passing table so for all the four passes this is same the parsing algorithm is same input will be given in buffer and everything is going to have stack and only difference among all these parsers is how you construct the parsing table only change in all the parsers is the parsing table other than this everything is same the construction of parsing table is going to vary in order to construct the parsing table of lr0 and slr1 we use something called as canonical collection of lr0 items lr0 items will be used in order to construct the lr0 and slr1 parsers and in order to construct lr1 and clr1 parsing tables we are going to use canonical collection of lr1 items okay so this is what try to understand it first thing is in order to construct all of the passes we need parsing table but the parsing algorithm is same and everything is uh, everything else is same only difference is the construction of parsing table and that too in construction of parsing table we are going to use lr0 items here and lr1 items here now let's see what is an item and what is lr0 item and what is lr1 item i'll construct the simplest parser which is lr0 parser first and then i show you how to use the lr0 items to construct it and then i'll even show you what is the parsing algorithm and how is it implemented just for this example i'll show you what is the parsing algorithm and it is going to be same only thing that is going to vary is parsing table okay let's see let's see one example now I'll take this example as derive CAA, A derive CAA or B, simple example and I'll show you how to construct the LR0 parsing table, the simplest one, right? So like LL1 parsing table, in LL1 parsing table we have seen first and follow, right? Similarly in LR0 parsing table or any LR parsing table we have closure and go to, like first and follow we use closure and go to, as with this example and I'll explain you. So first one is any whenever any given the grammar is given you add one more production to the grammar this is actual grammar to this grammar i am going to add one more production s dash derives s this is called augmented grammar this is called augmented grammar because one more production is out added right so first step is you take s dash derives s so before that i'll tell you what an item is so we are no i told you that we are going to use something called as items and in this case we are going to use lr0 items item is any production let us say any production like this with a dot in the right hand side is called item or lr0 item so which means this means that in the right hand side we have not seen anything and this means that in the right hand side i have seen a and this means that in the right hand side I have seen everything so why do we need it or what is the importance of it is the main decision we should make in terms of this uh, bottom up parsers is when should we reduce a string to the left hand side so when are we going to reduce a string to the left hand side we perform a reduction operation reduce is nothing but a is reduced to s if I see a a in the input it has to be reduced to s this is reduction right so when do we reduce it whenever we have seen the entire thing of the right hand side therefore whenever you see completely the right hand side then we should reduce it in order to remember that we have seen everything in the right hand side I am going to use this production right so s g r i c a a is the production the reason is I have seen everything in the right hand side 
now these l or zero product items or items are going to be helpful whenever you want to know that till what part we have seen the input and uh, whether it is it the right time to reduce it or not so now first thing is s dash derives dot s this is the starting point now i have taken the lr0 item for the first production now i apply the closure this is called the starting production and with dot i am going to apply the closure closure is nothing but whenever there is a dot to the left of a variable you have to add all the productions of that variable with dot in the beginning see there is a dot to the left of the variable so closure includes s derives dot a a and again there is a dot to the left of a therefore i have to again add the remaining productions a derives dot a a or dot b it means that whenever you see a dot to the left of a variable you are going to add all the productions with dot in the beginning can i add any more productions no because they are there is a you know dot to the left of the terminals therefore you can stop here this is the closure of s derives dot s this is the closure of it now after that we have to do go to go to means it is simply like a dfa so on this state if there is any dot somewhere if i move the dot over the next symbol which means if i move this dot over the next symbol what do i get i get s dash derives s dot i am just moving the dot right of it <coughs> isn't it now if i look at this one if i move the dot to left of a to the right of a the dot is to the left of a i am moving it to the right of a it is also called as go to this is a uh, canonical collection of lr0 items and now i am just moving it s derives a dot a now you have to apply closure whenever you apply go to now this go to is over now you apply the closure if i apply the closure i get all the a productions with dot in the beginning so what are all the a productions a derives dot a a or dot b why did i add these two productions because there is a dot to the beginning of a okay that is why i got this i don't get any more productions now what are the other transitions or what are the other go to items i have on small a you can again go to one more state on small a where do you go a derives small a dot a which is nothing but i am moving a dot from the left of small a to the right of small a okay. and now we have to apply the closure if i apply the closure to this what i get is a derives if i am applying the closure a derives dot a a or dot b why did i get these two productions because of this dot this uh, dot b before capital a right and then b on b i get a derives b dot so what is the importance of this production is this production is it is also called as final item whenever dot is to the right right hand side right most side it is also called as final item okay now this one is complete on s yes, we have shown what happens on capital a on small a on small b everything is complete this one is complete the reason is dot is at the right end we cannot move it further and this one is not complete the reason is dot is here we can move it still so on capital a what happens is s derives a a dot this is a final item and here on small a what happens is if you see it on small a we are going to get the same state capital a derives small a dot capital a and then capital a derives a a dot b which means on small a we are going to get the same one right and on small b we are going to get the same one isn't it so now see if everything is over or not so what about this this particular state in this particular state we have seen what happens on capital a we have shown what happens on small a we have shown what happens on small b and on this one we have seen what happens on small a oh, we didn't see this right so on small a it is going to produce the same state and on capital a it is going to different produce a different state what is it a derives a a dot and on small b 
it is going to the same state this one got it so now we have shown what happens on capital a and we have shown what happens on small a and we have shown what happens on small b right now we i'll show you after this this is called canonical collection of l or zero items what did i do i taken the grammar and then i added a new production and then i started with that augmented production with dot in the beginning and i applied the closure and then i found out the transitions which are also called as go to moves and then again closure go to and closure go to and closure go to and closure from every state again go to and closure right so i have found out that i got all these states and some of these states are containing final items what is the final item any item with dot at the ending is called final item what is the importance of final item is it specifies that we have seen everything in the right hand side and therefore you can reduce aa to s yes now we are scanning the input and now with some part we have seen the entire thing of right hand side and it is the time that you reduce it right so now this is called canonical collection of l or zero items using this i am going to construct the l or zero parsing table okay so just name the states once this state can be for the sake of you know identification i am just naming it you can name any name any names here i am calling it as i not i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 so there are totally seven states i not to i6 therefore now i am going to construct the parsing table for this let's construct the lr0 parsing table for this canonical collection of lr0 items okay this is also called as canonical collection of lr0 items lr0 item is nothing but any production with dot in the beginning okay so now first thing is you have to see the number of states there number of states in the canonical collection so we have i not to i6 which means seven states therefore i am writing 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so they are all total seven states okay and now the table will have two parts one is called action part and other is called go to part the lr parsing table will always contain two parts either it is lr0 slr1 lr1 or clr1 they will all contain two parts now action part will contain only terminals what are the terminals in the grammar terminals are a b and dollar these are the only terminals and what are the go to part is in go to part we have all the variables what are the variables in the grammar we have a variables as a and s these are the two variables okay now i have to fill all the entries all the entries of all the states now go to the state i not in i not on capital s it is going to one so whenever you have a transition on variables you have to go to go to part so i not on s is going to i1 therefore i am going to write it as 1 i not on s is going to 1 and on capital a it is going to 2 therefore i not on capital a is going to 2 and i not on small a is going to i3 so whenever there is a uh, there is a move on on terminals i am going to write it as i not on small a is going to i3 therefore i am going to write it as s3 which is nothing but shift 3 i'll tell you what the meaning of it is these are the conventions next one is i not on small b is going to 4 i4 therefore i am going to write it as s4 so we have four transitions and we have four entries here two entries are in action part and two entries are in go to part next one let's see i2 i2 on capital a is going to 5 i2 on capital a is going to 5 and i2 on small a is going to 3 which means s3 and i2 on small b is going to 4 which means s4 and uh, that is it we have only three transitions on capital a small a and small b next i3 i3 on small a is going to i3 on small a is going to itself which means s3 and i3 on small b is going to i4 which means s4 
and I3 on capital A is going to 6. I3 on capital A is going to 6. Okay. And now we have 4, 5, 6. So this is this is common for all the parsers. For all the parsing tables, action part and go to part is common. Only thing which you know which is different is whenever any state is having final item, then the entries are going to be different. Now just see the state I1. The state I1 has final item which is corresponding to the augmented production. Therefore, only this is the exception which is used for accepting. Remember it, whenever you get, whenever you get the final, final, final production or the final item of the production which is, which is augmented, we have to understand that that is a special production which is added because we want to accept it. So, we are going to accept it. Right? Or you know the meaning of this is it also shows that we have seen everything of the start symbol. We started from the uh, st terminals and then we reached the start symbol. Therefore, we have seen everything. Maybe that is also a, that is also a valid explanation why we had to write you know, accept there. Next one is let's see I4, I4, I5, I6. All the I4, I5, I6, I5. I4 and I6 all these states are containing the final items final item is any production with a dot in the right hand side with the dot in the right end right most uh, right most part now all these final items are corresponding to some productions right so let us number the productions let us say this production number is 1 this production number is 2 and this production number is 3 therefore first production is S derived CIA second production is S derived small capital A derived small AA and capital A derives small b is third production. Now see the state I4. If you see the state I4, it is containing a final item A derives B dot. And what is the production corresponding to this? The production is third production, production number 3. Therefore, therefore, for this one, the third production, I am going to write it as R3. So, in the construction of LR0 parsing table, whenever any state is having a final item, in that particular row, I am going to write reduce move completely, which means here I am going to write reduce move as R3. R3, R3, R3. Why should we reduce this? Because we have seen everything in the right hand side of a state, right hand side of a production. Now we could reduce B to capital A, that is the meaning. And next one is if you see I5, I5. It is also a final item and it, is, it corresponds to a reduce move. What is the reduce move? AA is reduced to S. Yes. Therefore, what is the production number? Production number is 1. So, I am going to write R1 in the entire fifth row. And next one is sixth. In the sixth state, the, what is the production? A derives AA. It is R2. I am going to write R2. So, understand this. How we did it is we have constructed the canonical collection of LR0 items and after constructing the canonical collection of LR0 items uh, we, we actually you know, uh, considered all the states and we have constructed the table in which the number of rows is equal to number of states in this diagram and then every shift move is nothing but whenever there is a state and if, this, if that state is going to some other state on a terminal that corresponds to a shift move. And if a state goes to some other state on a variable that corresponds to go to move. Okay. And whenever you come across this uh, production, the production is augmented production. And you have to remember that that production is being added by us. Therefore, that corresponds to the accept move. And whenever you come to any state in which there is a final item, you have to write reduce moves of the corresponding production. For example, the production number of AA is 2. Therefore, in I6, I am going to write R2. So remember this, whenever a state is containing a final item, you have to write the corresponding reduce move in the entire row, in the entire row, in case of LR0 parsing table. This is also called as LR0 parsing table. Now I will take an example and then I will show you how we shall use this uh, parsing table in order to parse an example. Okay.